Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a few days in the life. We're starting off on Sunday. I am getting ready for a workout at Soul Cycle. I have some fun dinner plans tonight. We need to get ready these next few days for tour. We got this new foam roller. Let's roll out. My calves specifically get so tight from cycling and stuff. My thighs kind of too, but I got this textured foam roller from Amazon. We're just rolling out. This is such a funny angle, but it feels really good on the calves to like open them up before we spin. All right, we're making moves now. I have to go move my car. I left it in its normal parking spot because it was so cold yesterday, whatever. Just wearing Spank sports bra and aligned leggings, shoes. Gonna move my car and then I might try to pop into a store if I have a second on my walk. I am going to Atlanta this week, like I said. I'm so excited. Um, because I get to see some friends that I haven't seen in a while. My best friend Mariah lives there and Maddie too. Mariah, well actually Maddie just moved into a new place too, but Mariah just got a dog and moved into a new place. I really wanted to get her a housewarming gift because I think I'm gonna be hanging out at her house a little bit. Mariah took off work a little bit this week. I think Maddie has to work during the days, but I'm gonna see her at night for the shows. I should get them some housewarming gifts. There's like a, a store here in the Lower East Side that I like to go and get like, they have like cute cards and like little gifts and things. I'll pop in there. I should probably get Mariah a gift for the dog too. I feel like <laughs> the ant coming with all of my gifts. So funny. <laughs> Screaming. I don't know, we're gonna wander. It's had a sign on the door like, we'll return it, whatever. So I don't like being more than like 10 minutes early to class because you kind of just stand around and we'll figure out something to do. Okay, the workout cost was so hard I need to stretch because I left before the stretch. Went and picked up prescriptions. And then I got Mariah's dog some toys. I got Maddie. I thought this was cute. She likes avocados. This little avocado sponge. I got them bags. And I have tissue paper cards. I got them both the same one because it was like the move-in one. And then I got them a Valentine's Day card. I don't think we're doing gifts, but the card I figured is acceptable. He's a big card person too. Then I'm going to give Maddie this candle as well. So I have to package all of those up, write those cards. But I feel really good. I'm glad I worked out. It feels really good. And my nose. I got a flu shot when I went home the other day at my doctor's appointment i don't think it's from that i think it's just from the cold i'm so like s like um stuffy but it's not impacting anything except that like i feel like i keep this is gross but like feeling like i need to blow my nose because it's like dripping tis the season showered my hair is insane because i decided not to wash it i'm gonna wash it probably tomorrow so i just brushed it out and i curled it yesterday so it's just like insane but we're gonna deal with that when we deal with it i put on pajamas just while i relax probably need to start getting ready in like an hour or so for the dinner but i did my gifts for my friends i still have like all day tomorrow and like truly all day i have like a few things to do but mostly it's like packing and prep for this trip i'm good but they didn't have like a ton of cute bags i would have ideally gotten them two different bags but these are my gifts for my friends and then i am going to fill out ben's valentine's day card now Trying also to figure out plans for that because I'm not here on actual Valentine's Day. Obviously, he will be involved with the planning too, but we're both kind of like, okay, so what should we do? Because like, it's not on actual Valentine's Day, but like, we'll go to dinner. We go to dinner all the time. Where should we go to dinner? Want it to be like romantic, whatever. And I'm watching Molly's vlog in the background. Um, Molly's life here on YouTube. She's my friend, Molly Bailey. I love watching her videos. I just find them so soothing and they're really long, which I like. I'm working on getting my videos longer again because I know a lot of you guys are like, miss the really really long vlogs like when i lived in boston and stuff i would do like hour plus vlogs actually at this point i feel like i just don't have enough to say to fill that anymore unless i vlogged you know seven days and put it in one like then i could get it that long again but not that i'm like out of things to say but i just feel like i i have nothing like valuable to contribute to do that anymore i don't even know like i, I really rarely rewatch those videos or i haven't like in a long time but i'm like what the hell did i even talk about for like hours i guess it was a lot about just like my routine and products and like food and i don't know just like you know it was like really showing like 
my life not when I was in the office, but I don't know. I'm like, what the hell did I talk about for so long? Now I'm like, you guys know everything. Like, this is just like a blank card. It's just Happy Valentine's Day. Um, the store that I went to in the Lower East Side was called The Modern Chemist. It's like not a pharmacy, but they have like skincare and like body care and stuff like that. It's kind of like a CVS without like the prescription part of it, I guess. But then they also have like cute, like little gifty things. They have cute cards and whatever. Every time I need like a card or like a gifty type of thing for someone, I go there because um, I do try to shop local when I can and that's a really cute store in the Lower East Side. It's right near Cats if you've ever been to the Lower East Side of New York. It's like a really popular destination. If you ever have seen um, When Harry Met Sally, Cats Deli is like the one when she's like eating the sandwich pretending to have an orgasm. It's just that all men are sure it never happened to them and most women at one time or another have done it so you do the math. Yes! Yes! I'll have what she's having. Have you seen that? I've actually never had a sandwich there because I really don't like like the like roast beef pastrami, like that sort of stuff. But I feel like I need to try it at some point in my life. I've just gotten matzo ball soup and latkes from there. And the matzo ball soup when you're sick from cats is like chef's kiss. I remember when I had COVID, we ordered that in like two or three times, I think, cats matzo ball soup. And it healed me right up. Not actually, but a little bit. Oh, I made myself another coffee. Usually that's the pattern. I make one in, like in the morning time and then like an afternoon one that I typically don't finish, but I like sip on it. And it's a nice like sweet treat for the evening. It's not even evening yet. It's like four o'clock. Eh, it's 4.30. Okay, we gotta get a move on. And due to my poor time management skills, we actually need to get ready pretty quickly because Ben's gonna be here in like 45 minutes. I have no sheets on my bed because they are in the dryer. For some reason, they're taking a really long time today. Probably because I have them in with like a bunch of stuff. It's full. It's all good. Did I say who I'm going to dinner with? I'm going to dinner with Danielle Ryan, Gretchen Max, me and Ben. A triple date of sorts. Ben and Gretchen have met and briefly met Max. We went to one of Max's games last year. They really just like waved, said hi. I tried this for the first time last night. It is this milk sunshine skin tint. They sent me over a gift card and I saw, I forget who, someone getting ready on TikTok using this. And I was like, whoa, I didn't know milk had a foundation because I really like their concealer. So I ordered it. I have to say, I really like the way that it's applied because it's like a little rollerball and you push it up, it comes out. It's definitely lighter coverage, but I actually like that because then I just go in and conceal the spots that I need more. I think that's my vibe right now, especially with my skin being like on the drier side because of winter. I don't want to wear a full coverage right now, at least like literally tonight because it's going to get crusty. So I feel like if I do this combo with concealer and it's like really buildable, I built it up last night for sure. But I like it cause it still like looks like skin. I mean, really all the foundations I use do. I don't really use anything like too, too heavy, but that looks really nice. Go milk. It has um, SPF built into it too. Not that that matters, I'm going out at night, but pretty cool. But I've heard that if makeup products have SPF built in them, you can't even like trust that. Like you still need to use sunscreen. I'm not gonna lie guys, I have not been the best with my sunscreen usage. I need to get back to that. So simple. I just need to start using my glow screen again. That's what I'll do. I have you guys like literally in my makeup right now, but this is what it looks like with concealer too. I did the NARS concealer just over. I'm having like, my, my acne is a little bit subsided right now, knock on wood. But I have like now some dark spots or like red spots that are like troubling to cover up. For a pretty light coverage foundation and concealer mix, I feel like this looks, my skin looks good. I tried a new blush yesterday on TikTok, I did. The Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush Wands. This one's in the shade Pillow Talk. I think I like this one better for me at least. It's a little bit darker. And I really like the way that these blend out. They're really, really pretty. Also, they're like pretty watery, so they, they blend. I did not know what these, this makes so much more sense. They have like a on and off like little thing because I had this contour wand. I was like, the product, it's oozing everywhere. Like, I don't understand. But it's because like you open and close the nozzle. That makes so much more sense. But I still think that the blush is better than the contour wand. I'm not the biggest fan of it. In theory, it's a good product, but I like this milk one. I think a little bit better. I love Charlotte Tilbury products, so it's nothing against her personally. I think she makes great stuff. I'm excited to get my makeup done a little bit this week. Um, at the Atlanta shows, I always feel so pretty having my makeup done professionally. And I usually go for like a similar look every time, just like neutral eyes, a lash, you know, pretty skin. I'm excited about that because not that I've been feeling like down particularly, but it always is like a big boost of confidence seeing yourself in that way. I'm also getting a spray tan tomorrow before the shows. I have my nails done already, eyebrows done. I'm trying to think if I'm like forgetting any last minute appointments because you know, I wanna be like on my game. Like people are coming to see us. It's a show. We are coming back in between the shows. So I'll be back in between the Atlanta shows and the Florida shows. See Atlanta shows are this week, Florida shows are next week. We have nothing else on the books because we're like, let's just focus on these shows first. But if you have anywhere that you would want us to come, you wanna see the gals, <laughs> let me know where. We have a few places in mind, but I'm curious. 
where should we come next? And I quickly curled my hair and I put sheets on my bed because Ben's about to be here and we need to rush. I'm just like rushing now. Using Makeup by Mario mattes and watching TikToks while I get ready too, even though I always do this. I always mess up my perfectly good palettes and freaking either drop them or worse. This, is, But I guess this is not that bad. I just like carved my nail into that and it looks like it's like dirty. It's okay, we only lost a little bit of product there. Can't be perfect. Clumsy girly. Mediocre bon appetit. Whoa, whoa, I'm way too zoomed in. I've just been kind of lightly packing, kind of just dilly-dallying, trying to figure out my life. Wait, last night was so fun. So it was like a triple date and it was just such good vibes. So good to see Gretchen, she is in town. But we leave tomorrow, so that was like the time that worked to see her and Max. And they are just like such positive people and such like a joy to be around. I don't know, if they're like the epitome of like energy uppers, you know? I feel like some friends you hang out with and you're like, whoa, I'm tired. I hang out with them and like I could keep talking like forever. Ben was like, wow, you three could talk forever, me, Danielle, and Gretchen, because we just kept talking. Like, we have so much to talk about. But yeah, I am going to a soul cycle class in like two hours, preparing. So crazy how much like sheets change the look of your room. I put on white sheets because my other ones are in the wash and I had to sleep last night. So, or they're in the dryer still. For some reason, they're taking extra long to dry, probably because I loaded up that dryer. Just did a little DJ Brooke moment. No, I needed to put together a little playlist for the live show for music, you know, at the beginning of the show and middle of the show, end of the show. We are ready to go. I got sent this sports bra from this brand, Buff Bunny, Buff Bunny collection. I think that's what it is. And I am upset. Look at that lift. And it's really like holding me in. I was just concerned that the top might be a little like, you know, when I'm leaning over the spin bike, that might be a lot. So I'm gonna wear a tank, but it feels really supportive. So I'm gonna wear that today. Tank top is from Aloe. Leggings are from Story. I'm wearing these Jerf Avenue socks. Let's go get a good sweat in. One thing about me in those classes is that the music really does impact me. I know that's not everyone. I know it's just I used to like just do treadmill workouts and stuff or when I do sometimes sometimes I was good podcast but if I need to get in the mood I need I, I need get up freaking beat drop bass I had to go like the fastest to a Harry Styles song I like Harry Styles but it's like in your feel it's not like run you know but overall we still sweat it's just it's there's an ass for every seat you know some people probably listen to that and they're like yes thank god Harry Styles like this is what I need to get hype I'm like, that's like when I want to cry. <laughs> but I guess that's why it's all very, like you have to find your favorite instructor based on like how they teach and like the music and stuff. But good class or not, this web. Just went to CVS and got paper towels. I just tried on outfits in like a frenzy because I realized that I'm getting a spray tan and I'm not gonna want to try on outfits after that. Not necessarily outfits like to wear to the shows since those are kind of already prepped, but I'm going to dinner tomorrow night with Maddie and Mariah, so need outfits for that. Well, just an outfit, I guess. Going to Soul Cycle. It's really only Tuesday to Friday. We leave Friday like kind of morning ish, early afternoon. I'm getting my spray tan in like 30 minutes. I did order some late lunch, early dinner. I have a salad kit for, sal for dinner, so I could have that like later. So I figured I'd have a bigger lunch, like smaller dinner, whatever. I haven't ordered Cobb in a minute. I used to be like obsessed, obsessed. Pita chips are amazing. And I get tzatziki dip. And I get a bowl, greens and grains with arugula, brown rice, chicken, so many toppings. Pickles, pickled onions, romaine, feta, olives, everything that could be pickled, I get it. Cause I love everything like pickles, olives, you guys know. Hummus and tzatziki on here too. I'm going to sit and watch a YouTube video while I eat and then we'll continue. I really want to like, style my hair tonight too. I'm letting it air dry just so that I, you know, don't, because I don't need to heat style it, but I kind of want to do it here so that tomorrow I don't have to do it too much, like maybe just a touch up. Then we're going to dry bar when we're in Atlanta. I'm going to do a separate Atlanta vlog, so that will be the next video. I'm excited. I haven't really been to Atlanta. Now that I think about it, I went to college at UGA, if you didn't know, but that's in Athens and that's outside of Atlanta. I went to Atlanta like a few times while I was in college. I remember one time was like with my mom. Then the last time I think I went to Atlanta was New Year's 2020, end of 2019 into 2020. Going back, it's definitely gonna be more like work heavy because we have to start getting ready for the live shows every day at like three o'clock. 
so that doesn't really allow us like too much time to like do too much crazy stuff in the morning because we're gonna have to like eat and prep and you know but at least i get to see some friends i'm just feeling really grateful really excited to meet you guys it always puts me in the best mood doing meetups and you know being around people who are such supporters of me and danielle and like our life that it's so cool because you know you just put out this content into the void you're like okay putting it out and like i read comments but sometimes it's hard for me to actually like internalize and process that this is like another human somewhere typing that so that's why i love meeting people in person so much whenever i have people like come up to me on the street or at a workout class or at dinner or whatever it makes me so happy because i'm like wow you like this it's so real you know so please always say hi we're gonna get sprayed now i think she's coming up i usually don't wear a shirt top no bra and i wear underwear though she like physically goes in and sprays me i have no problem being naked but i always tan with bottoms on spray tan i don't do beds no beds hi i'm spray tanned and I'm in like a big t-shirt and just this zip up because I'm not wearing a bra or anything because I'm like letting the spray tan soak in and stuff. And I brushed out my hair so I just look like crazy girl right now. But I wanted to do a little bit of a book update in this video because I just got some new books. I ordered from Strand, the Strand bookstore in New York. I actually got a gift card. So I ordered some and I figured I would talk about the book that I'm currently reading. And yeah, I'm hoping to read a bunch this weekend with the travels and stuff because we're pretty prepped for the show. I don't think I'll have to do too much work on the plane, hopefully. And with like my vlog schedule and everything, I should be pretty set that I don't have to, hopefully. I should be okay. I think I should be okay. So I'm currently reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and I'm not very far in, but I haven't, I haven't given myself much time to read these past few days, but I really, hopefully tonight I'll crank through a little bit of this. This is like, a fantasy book it's literally about like fairies and like wolves and stuff i haven't really gotten to too much of like the plot yet but basically this girl i think it's pronounced farah she just went into like this alternate world basically so i'm reading this right now and it's not my typical genre like the fantasy of it all but you guys are in my dms like you're gonna love it pretty much every single person who told me they read it loved it and it's a whole series they have five books, I think, total. Then everyone was like, oh, be prepared. Like, you're gonna have to read the next one. Or like, people are like, if you read the first one, you have to read the next one. That was pretty much the synopsis. However, I just got a pile of these other books. So unless I like literally am obsessed with this and I need the second one, that would like jump ahead in the list. But you see what I'm working with right now. So this is what I'm hoping to get through. And apparently it's like, you know, you oh, you gotta get through that one because like the second one's the best. Now, luckily I have patience and I could do that, but that's a big ask. You guys are saying it's really good and I trust you. And a lot of people, even in my personal life, who are not big readers said that they got either back into reading or like just found this book and like really liked it. I, I know it's like extremely wildly popular and I think it's about to be either a movie or a TV show. So definitely wanted to read it before that. And then I have three books here that I picked up from strand i really liked jody picolt i read mad honey by her so i just like looked up her most popular books that's typically what i do if i find an author that i like i'll go back and read some of their older books not even that these are older but well it's like 20 this is like 2019 or something 2020 maybe diane is perfectly on track both personally and professionally in her job she has a boyfriend and then they have this getaway plan days before her 30th birthday then a virus appears in the city on the eve of departure he breaks the news you should still go without me he says reluctantly she does almost immediately her dream vacation goes further goes awry there's no wi-fi after being completely isolated she forges a connection with the local family diane finds herself examining her relationships her choices and herself wow that took a turn i was like oh that sounds typical of what i normally read and that took a turn this was like really highly reviewed this one i was looking at this and i was like wait i i'm shocked that i picked this one out but i think you guys suggested this to me or a friend did or someone yale is about to pull off an amazing coup bringing an extraordinary collection of paintings as a gift to the gallery where he works wow, a lot of art the aids epidemic grows his friends are dying soon the only person he has left is his friend's little sister 30 years later she's in paris tracking down her estranged daughter while staying with an old friend a famous photographer she finds herself grappling with the devastating ways aids affected her life two intertwining stories take us through heartbreak of the 80s and the chaos of the modern world as yale and fiona struggle to find goodness in the midst of disaster this sounds really sad but apparently it's really good and then this one i heard a lot of mixed reviews on i almost bought this when it came out like october november of last year and i was like eh i'm gonna wait for some of the reviews to come in on it and apparently this is another one that it's slower but it's really good once you get into it it's about these friends that were childhood friends then they like get older and they reconnect, not even 25 years old, but they're both brilliant, successful, and rich because they make video games. Two friends, often in love but never lovers, come together as creative partners in the world of video game design. 
where success brings them fame, joy, and tragedy, duplicity, and ultimately a kind of immortality. I'm definitely intrigued by this. So these all sound kind of like heavy. If I find myself in a reading slump, I'm gonna need to pick up something that's like a little lighter and like more fun and like, you know, like a thriller or something. I feel like every one of these books is like, oh, you just gotta get through it and it like gets better. But that's like, I, 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 I can do that once in a while, but not for every single book I read. But I will say reading is definitely teaching me a lot of patience. I think that's been a big theme. Reading update. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this one in the next like few vlogs and we'll see because I know a lot of you guys are like waiting. Every time I post a picture of it, which has been like twice so far, people are like, how are you liking it? I'm like, I'm literally 60 pages and I cannot give an opinion yet. That is not fair. It's just not fair. So thank you for sticking with me with this one. And I think I'm gonna bring this one with me just in case I finish this one. I'm packing, I'll show you guys the update. Don't mind my bras and this Nutella thing. I just keep moving it around. But I think we're making good progress. I'm bringing mostly lounge clothes because then I have like my show outfit. So I just know I'll like during the day it will be like more like loungy clothes vibes and then i just need this dinner outfit which for some reason i'm struggling with so hard but i'm actually really excited because it's going to be 60 degrees when we're in atlanta which is like huge for the program no it really is huge because it's been cold here actually today was like 50 but it's gonna be like 65 and sunny tomorrow like a dream i'm in bed i think i'm gonna sleep in my spray tan even though well that's what i was told to do but i just like i feel it always feels like thick on the skin. I don't know how to describe it. I just feel better when I get to wash it off. It's gonna get all in my sheets and stuff, but it comes out in the wash, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. What I did wanna talk about is, this is a little, it's gonna get a little deep when we're talking about food a little bit. So if that triggers you by any means, like eating and food related to like body, maybe don't listen, but I thought that this would be important to share. I just went into my Nutella jar and just started eating it with a spoon and it brought me back to like college kind of when I would have more of those like bingey tendencies. I don't think I've ever had like a problem with binge eating, but I think that sometimes I can have like binging tendencies where I'm like, I just can't identify like when I'm full. This is getting really deep. And then I was just sitting here and now I'm, I am like, and then, you know, I, I stopped and like two minutes later, I was like, wait, I'm so full now. Oh my gosh. And I'm sitting here like in physical pain because I'm so full and I feel guilty for eating all that. I'm like, wow, Brooke, you worked out today. Like you've been on such a roll and you just went and did that. And I'm sitting here feeling guilty about it. And I'm upset with myself for feeling guilty about it. So now I'm in just like a cycle of just feeling upset because like, you know, I was I was hungry and I wanted a sweet craving. Like I was craving sweets. So I was like, okay, I'll have some Nutella, but I just didn't know when to stop in terms of like listening to my body and like understanding that I was full. And now I'm just upset with myself. And then I'm upset with myself for feeling guilty because it's like having some Nutella isn't gonna like set back my fitness progress. Also like, what am I, I I'm just trying to be healthy. Like I'm trying to be, a well-rounded person like so that i could you know eat a salad like i eat the salad so that i could have the nutella that's the point of life in my opinion and i just wanted to share these like very real feelings that i have and i'm like pretty good i think with food a lot of the time i'm really i have a, I have a pretty good mindset with it i will say like you know i'm okay with it it's always when i'm like trying to be healthier too but it goes very hand in hand because i'm like brooke you're working out every day like you know what's the point if you're gonna like you know eat like garbage and like do all that but meanwhile i'm like no i'm working out to move my body and like feel good and stuff and like if i want to tell i should just eat it i don't know i'm annoyed with myself for feeling that way but it's they're valid feelings it's just i don't know how to describe it maybe you guys can relate around having like feelings of guilt around food and stuff but it's also because i'm sitting here my stomach physically hurts so i'm like okay brooke you kind of did this to yourself like i was just sitting there with the spoon going in and i just wasn't even listening to like when i was full that's just that but i shouldn't look at it that way i shouldn't look at fitness that way and i want to work on you know improving that and whatever because I was just like feeling my abs and like not that they're really like showing on the top of my skin or whatever but like I feel I feel like my muscles are sore like I feel strong and I'm like I felt today in class like I felt myself physically improving like literally in the class I was like hitting all the moves and like I haven't been able to hit all the moves in so long it goes in a circle it's just like weird that I feel like I'm very like all or nothing when it comes to fitness it's like okay I'm gonna like eat clean and you know and work out but then like the opposite that I've been for so many months is like I wasn't working out I wasn't doing anything or even thinking about it so I wish that I could just like work out and like you know have that added to my regimen but not think about all the other stuff this is like why I don't really get in cycles too often of like being healthy because I see it as such an all or one thing that then I get burnt out with it because I'm like I just want to eat a damn Oreo you know that's what I'm dealing with tonight but I've been sitting here just scrolling on my phone texting people and whatever procrastinating reading this book that's how I know that I'm like not into it yet because normally I'm like excited to you know sit down and read my book and I told myself I was like oh you'll get in bed early get to read your book but I just 
I can't get into it yet. I'm only 60 pages in. These are just like little book rants. I hope I'm not annoying people or like triggering anybody. I, like I really, that's not my goal here. I just want to like keep it real. Like I would like, you know, FaceTime Mariah and like tell her like this train of thought. So, you know, this is me being real. Good morning. I feel better today. Thanks for listening to my late night rambles. I read a good amount of the book and I'm in it now. Like I'm in it. It's good. It's definitely like, there's a lot of gonna be like a lot of character introduction stuff, but like a minute and I'm gonna stick through it. So don't worry, don't worry about me. Hiding my pants, don't. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, but I was actually texting Clara yesterday, just about random stuff. And she was like, I was telling her that I'm like kind of stressed about like packing and stuff for this trip. She's not even going, she was just like wishing me good luck, whatever. She was like, you know, if you're, if you're not remembering to put it in your bag, it's probably replaceable at like a CVS or a Target or something. And I was like, you're so right. Cause I have my shop, I have my shoes, I have like the big stuff. Something about like performing like on the road though, it's different than performing when we did like the shows here. Cause it was like, I don't know, almost like a comfort of being like, oh, I live like three miles from where the, where we performed, you know? Like if I needed something, I could Uber and get it, whatever. Anyways, back on my Spank set for the airport grind. It's super comfy. I used like a de-linter, like de-pillar thing yesterday and it's still looking kind of pilly, but I have this that I got on Amazon. I thought it was for de-linting. It's really for de-pilling. So it's like perfect for this because this gets kind of like pilly in the wash. Probably shouldn't do it with it on. I'm throwing on this blow coat and my headband because I didn't have time to do my hair. Let's go to the airport. This is what I use as my backstage like show bag. I'm using it as a carry-on too because I have my computer and everything in here. It's from Stony Clover from their Juicy collab. I love it so, so much. It fits a whole lot of stuff, so that's really nice. Yeah, I thought I was packing light, but somehow the suitcase is like super full, but I guess that's because it's more like glammy outfits. I'm so excited. We're staying at like such a nice hotel and we're gonna have a lovely trip. So I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and packing and prepping with me. If you want to see more of the trip, follow me on Instagram at Brooke Michio. I will be posting on there and just follow me to keep up. Love you guys. Bye.